Let's craft a men's blazer today. Hi, I'm Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. This channel is all about pattern making. Look at this. It's not a traditional or formal blazer, but a casual jacket for young people. He's my son. I'm going to show you how to draft this jacket. We are going to draft the back, side body, front, sleeve, facings, linings, all of it. Very commonly, men's blazer has three pieces of the body. I mean, six pieces in total. Back, side body, and front. There's no side seam at the underarm. You're going to have two seams a little bit on the front and on the back. So we're gonna draft that and I'll show you all details like chest wall and pockets. This jacket has patch pockets but I'll show you how to draft the front for flat pockets as well. And this jacket has a side vent at the back. We'll draft that too. Uh, of course we cannot draft all of them in one episode, maybe three or four. I already showed you how to draft a two-piece sleep pattern making in episode 42. So when we draft a sleeve for this jacket, I'll show you another way of two-piece sleep pattern making. It's gonna be a long journey. Let's begin. Before we start drafting, make sure you have all the measurements. Chest, waist, and hip circumference. Shoulder width, back length, hip length, and sleeve length. Then you need the jacket length you want. My example is 31 inches. Draw a rectangle. The height is your jacket length. The width is half of your chest plus 3 inches and a half. So you might think you have a 7 inches ease at the chest in total, but it's not. We're going to take out here and there to make curves, so total ease will be about 3 inches. From the top, measure down 10 inches and a half and draw a line. This is armor depth. I don't calculate the armor depth with chest circumference. It doesn't make sense to me. I tried all the formulas that I learned when I was young. Nothing works perfectly. Go to my website patternstudio101.com. I have an armor depth chart. You can download it for free. For a woman's blazer, between 9 and 10 inches would be good. For a men's blazer, between 10 inches and 11 inches would be good as a starting point. And you can adjust when you do fitting. Depending on the fabric, it's going to feel different. Okay, from the top, measure down the back length. So, this is the waistline. From the waistline, measure down the hip length and draw a hip line. Here's going to be center back and this will be the center front. Let's draw the back neck. From the center back, calculate 10% of the chest circumference. So for my example, my son's chest circumference is 43 inches. So 10%, I measured 4 inches and a quarter. From there, go up 1 inch and a quarter. Draw a neckline. From the center back neck, go down 3 quarters of an inch and measure half of the shoulder width. My example of the shoulder width is 19 inches, so half is 9 inches and a half. Connect to the high shoulder point. From the shoulder point, go in half of an inch and draw a line all the way down to the hem. On the underarm line, find a midpoint and move one inch and a quarter towards the front. 
This is the underarm point. You can draw back armor curve. Start from the shoulder point, touch this line, and to the underarm point. Let's draw the center back line. Take out one inch on the waist and draw a straight line to the hem. Find a midpoint of armor depth. Connect to the waist. Then you drew the corners, those two corners. To draw the side seam curve, take out 5 8 of an inch on the waist and the curve will pass those three points. Draw a nice and smooth side seam curve. You can extend the line smoothly to the armhole curve. On the hem, go up about quarter or even one eighth of an inch and draw a hemline. Make sure both corners are 90 degrees. This is the back panel in orange. From this point, draw a guideline all the way down to the hem. On the waist, take out 5 8 of an inch and draw a line through those three points. When you see this line closer, you notice that the narrowest part is not the waistline. This part is the narrowest, a little bit higher than the waistline. And look at here, armor princess line. Once you stitch up these two seams, the armor curve will be pointed like this. So, Take out 3 8 of an inch or maximum half of an inch and redraw the armor curve. So when you stitch up, the armor curve will be nice and smooth. That's it for today. We're going to continue to draft next week. If you're a pattern maker, fit technician, or technical designer, I have a community for you. It's a private Facebook group. You can find the link in the description box. I answer your questions, we help each other and grow together. Join the group and have an amazing week. See you next time.